Hey guys, hey guys, this is Jeremy from Church Mag. How are you guys doing? For those that don't know, we're doing a series on Let's Plays. A little bit different than our Minecraft theology that we are doing. But we're trying to just kind of show off a little bit more of the, the Let's Play nature. If you guys don't know much about the Let's Plays, it's just actually playing the games. Um, we do church technology and creativity on this website. And one of the things that we did in the church, theolo the Minecraft theology is... How could we do gaming that might create more community? And ultimately these Let's Plays are just trying to create some community with our audience, with our team that we have, with our community that's on this back channel and this Minecraft server. So I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on this idea, but we're going to get into a little bit of building. Last time you saw us, we had this just started up. Now we have a whole bunch of chests out here. And the result that we want to have, that I want to have with this, is we're going to be putting in an item filter. And I don't expect to finish this today, um, but I want to try to get the actual filtering system in today. Um, I'm going to do most of the work off camera, but I want to show you a little bit of it right now. Just to kind of get you guys in on the experience. Um, this is actually my first time doing an item filter, so we'll see how it goes. I don't think it should be too hard, but we'll do this first one. Um, just to show how it's going to look in the end. I'll keep going. Actually, I think I need this one. Let's see. We need it right here. So the idea is all the items are going to be coming down. We're going to have a whole bunch of different chests everywhere. We can just randomly drop the items in. And um, we have actually our shops that are way over there near the spawn stores. And people will pay for different items. And when they put them in the payment chest, they'll actually come down, come across, come down. And the payment will actually enter into this. But then we'll also have other chests elsewhere that you can actually just put in all your stuff. And it'll just make a really easy way to be able to have a lot of different items that we might want to use. So let's just go ahead and try this out. I might get it wrong the first time, but I basically want to show you how this is supposed to work. So we have a hopper there. Then we have, no, not going to let me up. Alright, and then a hopper there. Too many. And so the items are going to come across and then come down these. I think there's actually going to have to be a third layer as well. But then they come down and come into here. But the only way that we know to actually have it come into here is with some redstone. So the redstone is going to have to be right here as well. So let me do a little bit off camera and then I will show you here in a second. All right, guys, here's what I got. An item sorting machine. This is just one of many. It's going to cover all the different chests down there. It's actually going to come across. I'm not going to do all these on camera. The idea is you start with the hopper up there, and this one, if we get up here, goes across, and it's actually going to have one here. They'll attach to here, and this will there eventually will be a chest here. Do I have any on me? Nope. So we'll just have a couple of chests here. That it'll overflow into and then go down and actually these bottom ones won't be sorted just the top ones that have mass stuff that we have you'll actually notice most of our blocks our iron our food the paper we have the actual rotten flesh but then down here is stuff that we actually craft so most of the stuff won't actually be stuff that we normally find we'll come over here into this overflows chest over here that we'll get into and then we'll just actually manually sort it but this top stuff here, whatever does fit in here, we'll actually have items in here. And we have this now, and I don't think that's actually the right one for this, or maybe it is. But you notice it's stuck there. It slowly goes down. And it's actually filtering down into this one. Ah, uh, it's supposed to be granite. But it's still the concept still works. And so that one flows down, but it only flows down if there is enough of a signal from this comparator. So if that has enough items. Then it comes down here, hits the repeater, and then this allows this to actually start to work. And so this will actually take items down and put it into the hopper. So we'll actually have a whole row of these coming through here. And eventually we won't do this part on camera today, but we'll actually have it coming from all our different checkpoints to here. So I will get the rest of these ready and I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, I have it finished, at least the top row. The bottom row will add more as we go along. In fact, I plan on eventually expanding out that way. 
But we have a whole bunch of items, a lot of the stuff. This is auto farms type things. Um, so the cactus grows, it, it pops the top, and then it comes down here is the hope. Um, the melons, we have a whole melon farm. Um, the fish come from the, the auto fishing. Um, the trees I'm actually doing manually, and all this other stuff is stuff that you just get a lot of mining. And I do a lot of mining, so I hope to have a whole bunch of stuff. And here it really is. Um, it's a whole complex system. You can see how this is just the one that we had had before, and I duplicated it the whole way across. And so the way it's going to work is from way over there at spawn, it's going to come all the way down and come to here and get put in this chest. And so in this chest, we can put stuff and it flows across. But if it meets to this one, we have in this one sugar canes, and I'm using lily pads as fillers. But if, if one of them is sugar canes, then it fa falls into this one and it overflows with this one. And so those get sucked down in. Um, but if the next, if one of them is, let's say, the rotten flesh, it goes into this one. Obviously, it can't go into that one, so it goes into the rotten flesh one, it goes down, and sorts everything. Now, obviously, I don't have every single item in here, so for those that are not on the top row, all the overflow will actually go into that bin right there. And I'll actually snake it down and have a whole bunch of hoppers, and there will be access right here or something like that. I'll figure that out. And, a future section, maybe a future episode, we'll figure that out. Um, so I want to test it here. Uh, so let me put some of the stuff away. I'm going to use those. I'm going to use some that aren't on the top as well. So crafting table, cobblestone, regular stone, a shovel, um, granite, stone, andesite, rotten flesh. And I don't use lily pads because they are in the overflow spot, so that could technically corrupt it and uh, mess up this whole system. So I don't even use those. I could go and name every single one of these. That's a lot of work. I don't have time for that work. So here's the setup. Go over here, and we'll empty everything in here. Let's put those, put those, and you see it's slowly emptying out to so the stone. We can go over to the stone real quick, catch it. Where's that? This one. So hopefully this works on camera and I don't have to redo it. So it's coming along. And now we're at 52 and 54. So it must not be updating as I open this. Um, but it'll come along and it'll fill all those in. And we won't watch this whole thing. We'll come back to it in a second. But you'll notice it's just continuing to go down the line. Now the cobblestone and then the rotten flesh. More stone. So it's going to make an easy dispenser. Now obviously there's no diamond ones here. There is no, uh, there is a redstone right there. But there is no lapis. And so all that stuff's going to come over here. And I'll be able to fil filter those out as well. And then probably just stick one down here with precious ores. And one that's enchanting books. Stuff like that. But it'll be all manually placed at that point. The other thing I want to show you is I have this right here. And what this is, is there's two different tracks. There's one that goes here and this one as well. And we have a whole bunch of carts. And it's not ideal right now. I could improve it right now. But if we get down here, this side is actually going to be for me traveling. Whereas the other side is not going to be for me traveling. It's actually going to be for a chest hopper or a hopper cart. And so what's going to happen is it's going to come over here. And I'm going to have all my auto farm stuff. I'm actually under my slaughterhouse base right now. And it's going to come down and there's a whole bunch of hoppers here. And so right now we have a whole bunch of cactus. And so the hopper cart would come here, fill up, and then it would go back. And I've got a design. We won't do that today, but I've got a design for that. But if we go up here. Oops. Come on up. This is quite literally under my house. So I've got everything here. And so the cactus, oh, we need new cactus. But the cactus will pop down and go into there, as you had seen. Um, we might even just put that right there into the, the hoppers. The, the sugar cane will go in there. Probably end up doing this in there. Um, all the fishing stuff will go straight from here down into there. So it'll all be taken care of automatically. Why is this open?
So there's a whole bunch of stuff that'll happen with all this. I'm looking forward to seeing how it go. We have the, the iron over there. I don't know if I'm going to auto the iron because it's a community one. Um, but, but what I can do is I come over here. I know there's some diamonds in here. So people buy stuff and then they put it in here. And so when they put it in here, those will disappear. And those will actually go into a hopper, go into this hopper, go over to this hopper, and then just connect over there. And really it's going to be very easy. Just have to snake everything over there and then get the distribution set up. So that's my setup right now. It's going to be auto everything for quite a while. And then I literally just have to enjoy the resources at that point. And I'm really trying to just make this something where new people get on, they can enjoy the process. I know I'm putting a lot of work in this, so I'm selling some of the stuff just to keep getting diamonds and lapis, um, but I'm enjoying this process. So I'd love to hear if you guys have any suggestions on how I can improve this process, let me know. I know this is a let's play, so a little bit more about the building process, and that's all right. We need to get that lit up. Oh, geez. All right, and so, so I'm kind of excited excited to see what you guys think of this process. It's going to have more eventually, um, but I don't think we'll ever be able to get like a water temple to go all the way from like a water temple way over there over to here. Um, that's just not practical anymore, but we'll see how it goes. So love to hear what you guys have to say. Leave me a comment down below or on our web article, and we'll talk to you guys next time.